Hey y'all, welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host, Bashi Sarah, and you are tuned in to another episode of All The Things, where we literally talk about all the things. So in today's episode, let's challenge. Let's do something different. Let's challenge how we think. Let's challenge how we view life. And let's challenge our daily habits. So today I'm going to talk about the four things you can do every day to be successful. And this is coming from someone who is doing it herself. And I personally believe, personally believe, has transformed and changed my life, has changed how I do things, the outcomes of my day. And I say outcomes because there are several different outcomes of my day, depending on how I start it and how I finish it. So one of the first things I want to talk about is in the secular world, we call it, or you may call it meditation, but in the Christian world, I call it prayer and devotion. Every Life is America's pro-life diaper and wipes company. My family absolutely loves them. There's no harsh toxins. There's no chemicals. It's perfectly safe for your little one. We love every life, their mission, their vision, everything about them. Use my code VASHTY10 for 10% off your first order. That is VASHTY10 for 10% off your first order. Start your day off with prayer and devotion. Too often, and I don't want to go into another rant about social media and technology because I think I've done plenty of that already in previous episodes, but I think too often, and I know too often, we start off our day with technology. We start off our day immediately grabbing our phone, and I'm guilty of this, to scroll, to check the latest updates, to make sure that we knock out all of our messages, we respond to everyone that we need to respond to, and then we start our day. That's one of the poorest ways to start off your day. Why? Because you're starting it off with tasks. You're starting it off with to-dos. You're starting it off with um, others versus reflecting, interceding, and resetting your mind for what's ahead. So I do believe prayer and devotion, meditating on God's word, is powerful in resetting, restructuring, and exercising your mind, gearing it up for what is ahead. Because you don't know what pre- what will present itself that week for you or that day for you. You don't know what to look forward to. I mean, you probably have an idea, but for the most part, it's a mystery for all of us. I mean, you might have your agenda, your to-do list. I I know I need to do the registration for my car. I have work. I got to be there at 8 a.m. I got to do this. I got to go grocery shopping. You might have your to-do list, but you don't know how life will eventually pan out that day, that the next second, the next hour. So starting off your day, restructuring your brain to be ready and equipped for the day ahead does wonders. It does impacts your emotions. It impacts how you respond to certain things. It sets the groundwork and the framework and posture of your attitude towards life. So that's the first thing. Meditation, meditating on God's word and being prayerful. Even if it's just five minutes a day, I'm telling you that five minutes does wonders. And again, sets the groundwork for what lies ahead. Something else that I believe creates a successful individual, successful life is exercise. I know it's super cringy, but I might be a little biased here, but studies show throughout history, studies show present day, the most successful people exercise, even if it's just walking 30 minutes a day, walking. And it's not just walking, walking is movement. Exercise is movement, moving your body, waking it up, saying, hey, I'm ready to start. I am getting energy. I'm allowing my cells to wake up, my lungs to to open, expand and contract. I'm allowing muscles to move and wake up and say, I'm ready for a new day. So I do believe exercising Every day does wonders for your mental health, for your physical health. Um, and it, it definitely sets, it adds to setting the, the groundwork for you to approach whatever 
it is that you have that day. I enjoy working out in the mornings. Evening workouts are not made for me. By the end of the day, I am so done because of work, answering emails, getting back to my clients, um, content creating, putting Sarah to bed, which she is super easy. I'm not complaining. I do have a wonderful child that for the most part, I'd say 95% of the time, she goes down like that. Nurse her to sleep and rock her, say her two prayers. Um, side note, every night, uh, mom, mom brag here, every night, before I put Sarah to bed, after I nurse her, um, we do the Lord's Prayer and we do the 23rd Psalm. And she falls right asleep, snuggles in, and I put her little blankie over her, close the door, and she's out 7 p.m. until probably 4 or 5 in the morning. Anyways, back to what we're talking about because that's the topic for today. <laughs> um, exercise. It is so, so important. And I, like I said, I do not enjoy at all by any means evening workouts. It's such a drag. I, I don't look forward to it, but morning workouts, I can promise you resets my day, resets my framework. It just changes the game. And I'm a lot happier person. I go into the office peppy and I I just feel good. You, You just feel good. Another thing I want to encourage you to do is to pursue one goal every day one goal. It could be a long-term goal that you're working on every single day. Um, So for instance, if your goal is to write a book, don't wait until you want to be published to write your book. So start working today. If your goal is in five years, I want to write a book. Every day, write a little bit towards it. Every day, work towards it. Maybe you're working on the cover page, table of contents, the description, um, creating the skeleton of your book and then you're adding the meat to it and the contents and you're, you know, taking away and adding and stripping and whatever it may be. You can't wait until year five to start it. I mean, if you're super creative and super gifted, sure, by all means. But for the rest of us in this world, (laughs) you probably need time to add and to um, further add towards your goal in making it a success. So every day pursue goals. But my, my personal advice, pursue one goal might be multiple goals. You have pursue one part of that multiple goal every single day. Otherwise your goal will just be a figment of your imagination. It will just be a thing that you wrote down my 2024 goal of the year, my my um, resolution of the year, and you never get it done. It's my challenge to you. Another thing, the fourth thing that has, has shown to create successful people is to continue to learn. Um, now, I do believe in today's society, we always have something playing in the background, whether it's music, podcasts, gaming, streaming, something we have playing in the background. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about learning something new. I don't always have music on at work or whenever I'm working. Sometimes I have a podcast on, but it's not um, the same podcast every time. And I'm honored if you choose to listen to all the things podcast, because I do my prayer and hope is that I do create content and push out content that is beneficial towards, um, uh, helping and navigating you becoming a, the be- a better version of yourself. And I know some people hate that terminology and maybe it's been, um, it's been overused, uh, during the years, but if you choose to listen to all the things podcast, I am 1 million percent honored, but find a podcast, um, or, a, a, a learning program to better you, to help you to become a better version of yourself. Um, because we're called to become better each day. We're not called to be stagnant humans. I mean, stagnant water, what eventually happens to it? Molass grows on it. Little fungus grows on it. It just becomes old and aged, but water that streams, that's continually moving m- water with movement is pure. You can actually drink from that water that's trickled down from the mountain that's that's continuously streaming. You can drink that. It's, it's spring water. It's great. But stagnant water, no one wants to drink from. They're dull, icky, 
mucky, doesn't really add to society. So continue to learn. You have not made it. And if you feel you've made it, that's a pride issue, but you have not made it. Challenge yourself to learn something new. Challenge yourself, whether it's a new game and uh, read a book, um, whatever it may be, challenge yourself to learn something new, something that um, my husband's doing that I don't think anyone knows. Um, Maybe it's just me and maybe his parents know, I don't know, but something he's doing is he enrolled in this school, not official school, but um, a school that will better help him develop greater skills when it comes to sales, marketing, and business strategies. And I think he's phenomenal. I mean, um, the, the business decisions that he's making, the strategic moves, the way he responds to customers and, and lands deals and closes on consignments. And if those of you who do not know what my husband does, it's cantoshark.com. I'll have the link below, um, but a little, I'll, I'll add that in there. Um, but I mean, he, he's so good at what he does. He's brilliant at business, but he knows he hasn't made it. I mean, I think he's phenomenal. He's one of the smartest people I know, but he knows he can always get better. So what did he do? He enrolled himself in this online program that challenges you, that challenges your ability, your your skill to market, your skill to strategize, your skill to close on deals and sales. It's brilliant. I uh, do accounting for a living. But every so often what I'll do is I will sign up for a new quiz um, in QuickBooks Online and I will go through one of their courses and challenge myself to learn something new because technology is always advancing and the ways that you do accounting has shifted from the way it was done 10 years ago, five years ago. A lot of it has been streamlined, but still, even though it's been streamlined, you need to know these certain techniques, the do's and don'ts with accounting, how to maneuver things in these new software. So I challenge myself and I I do these different certificates, not to have them under my belt, but to learn. So that's my challenge to you. Learn something new. Wake up every morning and meditate in God's word. If you're a believer, you should be doing that. And if you don't believe in the Lord or you're on the border or you're on the line and you don't, you don't know if this God thing's real, I challenge you to even say a simple prayer. God, if you're real, show me who you are. Simple prayer. And I promise you he'll show up. And then the second thing, exercise. Walk if you need to walk. Go to the gym. Sign up for a membership. Do that thing. Don't delay any longer. Don't say I'll wait until next year or I'll wait till fall or, you know, wait till the new year starts. I mean, for crying out loud, the summer has almost ended. If it, if not, it has ended for most of you. Exercise. Thirdly, work towards a goal. Work towards one goal every single day. Whether it be a long-term goal or short-term goal, work towards that goal until you see it fulfilled. And fourth, continue to learn. You're never too smart. You've never made it until you take your last breath. That's, that's, that's when life is finished. But until then, continue to learn, continue to grow, expand yourself and challenge yourself to do hard things. So that's what successful people do. According to Google University, According to Yahoo, according to studies, that's what successful people do. And I myself have, have, have adapted that mentality. My husband has adapted that mentality. And why, while we might not be globally successful, we are successful in our marriage and in our life. And yes, we're just three years in, but we're laying the foundation that when the challenging times do come, because they will, at least we, we have a framework that we can rely back on. And I, and that's the goal. And that's my prayer for you, that you'll have a framework to rely back on. When things get challenging, challenging, things get rocky, you can rely back on that framework of disciplines that you applied in your life that will help you when the good days aren't good days. Seven Weeks is America's pro-life coffee. It's premium coffee delivered right to your doorsteps. All roast available and it's absolutely delicious. Start your morning off 
with seven weeks coffee. It's not just drinking coffee. It's drinking coffee with a purpose. Use my code VASHTY10 for 10% off your first order. That is VASHTY10 for 10% off your first order. So yeah, that's it. That's, that's today's episode. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Short and sweet to the point. Like, share, comment, do all the things. And I will see y'all next episode. 